G'day guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're making an animal planter. So I've been wanting to set up our deck and with summer here, it was time to do it. Today I'm gonna to show you a fast step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this animal planter. All right, let's get into it. Plies, you will need some kids toys. I'm using a hippo and an elephant. Then you'll also need a box cutter as well as some paint. So I use spray paint and then I use some acrylic paint with primer underneath on some and a sponge brush and a paintbrush to apply it. Then you'll need some pebbles, soil, gloves, and of course some succulents. So mum got these from her garden. It wasn't too difficult to cut a hole in the hippo. What I found if I put the knife in so it made a hole straight down, then with the knife in it was easy to cut the square box. And there's the hole. I thought this hole was a little bit too small so I just made it a bit bigger and this was easy to do using the box cutter. I repeated the same with the elephant and then underneath to make some drainage holes the best way I found to do this was to kind of make a triangle so cut a triangle and then you've got a little hole. Then I took the animals outside found a dead bit of lawn and then I shook the spray can and sprayed gold paint for the hippo. I followed the instructions on the can left it to dry for half an hour. While it was drying I went over to the elephant and sprayed it with some white primer. Then I came back to the gold hippo, flipped it over and sprayed the underside. I did the same with the elephant. So for the elephant, I decided I'd do a coat of primer and then pink acrylic paint because I wanted to create a pink elephant. I did three coats of pink acrylic paint and I found it was really light on the elephant. The spray paint created a real uniform coloring all throughout. That's what I really found with the gold spray paint. So if you were trying to make three of the same, I'd recommend using spray paint. I found the acrylic paint didn't colour block and give as uniform results as the spray paint. I took Hippo outside, I put some pebbles down the bottom to help with drainage and then I added in some potting mix. Now I made sure to put potting mix right in each end so it was completely covered right up near his head as well as down to his bottom. And then I put the succulent plant in. I then added some soil around the succulent plant so it was nice and firm in the Hippo and then I gave him a little bit of water. I just love how these turned out and they were super easy to do. I totally recommend them as a gift. I think I'm going to give away the T-Rex. I'm going to keep the hippo for our outdoor table and I think I'm going to put the pink elephant in one of our bathrooms. I think it would look really cute there. Thanks heaps for watching guys. Let me know in the comments below what animal you're going to use for your animal planter. As you can see I've gone with the hippo. Alright, until next time, take care. Bye!